Hey everyone, Austin with Training Tall back with another video. And sure, I might be six foot eight, but Training Tall is all about giving you the tips and strategies to help you take your fitness and health boop, 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 above the average, no matter how tall you are. And the 2020 CrossFit Games are upon us, and the 1,000 meter row is one of the main events. And in this video, I want to give you the best tips and strategies to help you row your best 1,000 meter row ever. Rowing 1,000 meters. It's a very, very tricky distance because it is just outside of the sprinting range. And that gives, and that leads me into my first piece of advice, which is to not try to sprint the 1,000 meters. Literally due to the energy systems that our body requires to accomplish exercise. Even the fastest, the most fit of rowers in the world that row a 1,000 meter row, the 1,000 meter row is gonna take at least two and a half minutes or more. And because of that, our body cannot solely rely on the ATP, phosphocreatine, and glycolytic energy systems to accomplish the effort. It's just human physiology. Aerobic metabolism will be needed to accomplish the effort. So if you just go as hard as you can and think you're gonna last through a thousand meters, you're gonna hit the last 300 or 200 meters completely tanked, completely empty, and it's gonna be a painful way towards the finish. The 1,000 meter row is an effort that has to be paced. You gotta enter in with a game plan. So let's talk about that. What's the game plan? How should you pace a 1,000 meter row? Well, if you've done a 2,000 meter row before, you can actually use the numbers from your 2,000 meter row to help you get an appropriate goal for a 1,000 meter row. And so the idea is to take your split per 500 meter average from your 2,000 meter row and subtract about five to 10 split seconds. So for example, let's say that your current 2,000 meter row personal best is eight minutes. That means your split per 500 meter average is two minutes per 500 meters. So if you were trying to craft a goal for a 1,000 meter row, you would wanna subtract five to 10 split seconds from the two minute split. So your split goal for the 1,000 meters might be a 155 to a 150 split per 500 meter average. And so here's a list of different split averages, different split goals, and how long that would translate into 1,000 meters. The good news from this is the faster you row, the sooner it's done. But still, regardless of what your goal is, keeping in mind that it has to be paced. And so entering in your row with that goal in mind is essential to your success. And here's the good news too. Let's say you're rowing at your goal, you get to the last 250 meters and you're feeling really good, like you've got a lot extra in the tank, then freaking go. Then bring some more effort, bring that split lower and blast through that finish line. That is a much, much better scenario than going way too hard, way too fast without a goal, hitting that last 250 completely dead and then just crawling through the finish line. No one wants to be in that situation. So once you've got your split goal in mind, here's how we execute it. I recommend that you give yourself five to eight strokes to settle into your goal. Again, when you start this effort, the adrenaline is gonna be high and you will feel like your goal wasn't enough and that you can just sprint past it and you're gonna be okay. You won't be okay. Have that discipline to give yourself, again, five to eight strokes to hit your goal number. It should. It should feel easy for the first 200 to 300 meters. It should feel very doable. It should almost feel like you're going too slow. That's just the initial hype and the adrenaline. And remember, you can always bring more at the end if you need to. But once you have settled into your goal pace, as far as our form goes, we wanna make sure that we are trying to keep our form fairly long. We wanna be prioritizing the legs and the hips as we row. So make sure that as you row, you're focused on getting a good lean forward with the body at the front end of the stroke and a good swing back as you drive. Make sure, of course, to push the legs first and then swing your body back. Don't lean back early because that cuts out a lot of power from your stroke. Aim to get as much compression with your legs at the front end as you can, as long as you're not going past knees over ankles. Once you go past this point, you've essentially overstretched your quadricep muscles and you can't produce the power, the force that you could if you kept it at knees over ankles or shorter. As far as the ideal stroke rate goes, it's gonna be a little bit different for everyone, but if we look at the pros, they tend to keep it into the mid 30s to high 30s, maybe even the low 40s as far as strokes per minute goes. I definitely recommend keeping your strokes per minute over 30 at least, but you have to 
sort of find the balance that works for you. If you're someone who is really, really strong and tends to have their aerobic fitness tend to be a little bit weaker, you're gonna do better on the lower end stroke rates, maybe low 30s to mid 30s. Whereas if you're someone who's very, very good at aerobic endurance type efforts and your strength is something that is not as good, you would wanna focus more on the mid 30s to high 30s, maybe even low 40s on the stroke rate. It all depends person to person. You might wanna hop on the rower and give it a try and see how it feels. Now, as you're rowing with this form, you're keeping your goal on track. The most efficient way for the body to accomplish any sort of aerobic effort is to hold the effort steady throughout. Now, again, thinking back to our body's energy systems, your body is utilizing all three systems at the start and those last two systems through the middle of your effort. It's when you get to that last 250, 200 meters, your body is going to want to start shutting down. But if you've paced yourself correctly, you should be able to keep up the fight. Man, you are gonna really have to fight though, but you can handle it. And the last tip that I have for you, one of the most important things that will make or break your success, you have to row through the finish. Too often throughout history have we stopped one stroke, one step too soon, and it costs you what could have been a new personal best or a medal. When that rower is counting down the meters, when it says 20 meters left, you've got four or five strokes. You gotta go. Do not stop when it's trickling down to zero. Pound through that finish, and once it says zero, take another stroke and then stop. That is how you're gonna finish with your best. So you gotta fight it up here, you gotta fight it up here, you gotta row through the finish. Promise, please? Okay. With these tips in mind, I think you're gonna find a lot of success with your 1,000 meter row. It's gonna hurt. You gotta accept that right now, it's gonna hurt. But if you can go in with a game plan, not go crazy sprinting off the start, and settle your way into the effort with good, efficient rowing form, and you row that thing all the way through, you're gonna frickin' crush it. And of course, the more you practice this event, this distance, the more in tune you're gonna be with your body and the more success you'll have with it long-term in finding what strategies work best for you. So I hope this could help you out. And if you're interested in more rowing stuff from me, you might wanna check out my personal coaching over at trainingtall.net. There you'll also find my rowing eBooks and you can also find a link to my online rowing workout platform, Just Row, where no matter what machine you have, we're just gonna row together. It's three rowing workouts per week, plus over 60 follow along routines that aren't rowing that cover all different aspects of fitness with daily mobility routines as well. It's got a whole lot going on. Used to be known as Hit Plus, it's now Just Row, where we're just gonna row. It's gonna be fun. Anyway, check it out in the links below if you're interested. Thanks for watching the video. Best of luck to you on your 1,000 meter row. Get after it, bring your best, now do it. And I'll see you in the next video.